Hey guys, Crypto Dad here again, and today I'm going to show you how to purchase some Cardano or ADA tokens on Coinbase and then store them safely and securely on a Ledger Nano hardware device. So let's get started. All right, so the first thing I'll do is show you how to purchase a little bit of Cardano. We're going to do that over on Coinbase. And then after we've done that, we want to make sure that we store it safely and securely in our own wallet where we control the private key and have full custody of the Cardano. I'm going to show you how to do that with a Ledger Nano X hardware device, but the Ledger Nano S is very similar. So let's get started. So the first thing we'll do is get ourselves logged into our Coinbase account. Go ahead and get ourselves signed in. I've got two-factor authentication enabled on my account. I encourage you to do the same on all of your cryptocurrency accounts. All right, and once we get ourselves signed in, we'll just go up here to the Buy Sell button. And then instead of Bitcoin, which is the default, we're just going to switch it over to Cardano, which is number three in the list here. And we can purchase as little or as much as we want, depending on our limits. So uh, I choose uh, to have my bank account and my ATM card linked to my Coinbase account. Uh, you can click down here to choose which one you want to use. If you use your bank account, you've got a pretty high limit. Uh, I prefer to use my debit card because you instantly acquire the cryptocurrency and you can withdraw it immediately. If you use the bank account option, it might, may take a few days before you're able to withdraw it to your own wallet and if you're patient then that's fine uh, but I'm a little impatient so I like to buy and withdraw on the same day so uh, let's go ahead and choose the debit card option I'm gonna buy a hundred dollars worth of ADA we can just take baby steps here we'll hit preview buy and then buy now notice there is a coinbase merchant fee when you purchase ADA that's a little bit of the price you pay for using a trustworthy exchange that's very easy to use. We'll hit buy now. And there we go. I've purchased my ADA. And I can go over to my portfolio here and then uh, see that I have the ADA in my Coinbase portfolio. Now, some people might just want to stop there and just hold the ADA on the exchange. I'm a purist. I like to hold cryptocurrency in my own wallet. It's much safer and secure to do it that way. So I'm going to show you how to do that. So I'm using my Ledger Nano X today. So the first step will be to go to Ledger Live and get the Cardano app installed on our device. All right, once we get ourselves logged into our Ledger Live, uh, we're going to want to go over to the Manager tab over here on the left side. All right, and once you get over into the Ledger Manager, you're going to want to install the Cardano app. Okay, I have my device connected and it's on the home screen. So uh, you can see Cardano here because they're uh, sorted by market cap. Uh, but if you don't see the app you're after, you can also search for it. Just start typing it in and there it is. So I'm going to hit install and I need to install the app for Cardano on my device. This is going to create a private key for Cardano on this device. All right, and now once we've done that, you can see I can navigate over to the Cardano app and it has been installed on my device. Now, unfortunately, you cannot install uh, a, a, an account for Cardano in Ledger Live. Ledger Live does not support Cardano or the ADA token. So we're going to need to use a third-party wallet to do this. So don't get upset if you don't see Cardano here in the list of accounts. It's not supported in Ledger Live. So we're basically we're done with Ledger Live. We can just turn it off now. The only thing we needed Ledger Live for was to install the Cardano app, which we've done, right? So what we need to do now is go over and download and install the Daedalus wallet from the Cardano website. All right, so you want to head over to cardano.org, cardano uh, not com, org, 
And then uh, you can find out more about Cardano on their website here. And then you'll want to go to the Individuals tab and over to the Daedalus Wallet. That'll take you to the Daedalus Wallet download page where you can download the Daedalus Wallet. We'll click, uh, click Download here. And you can see they've got uh, a, a version for each major platform. Uh, we'll just hit Download Daedalus here for the Windows version. And then I'll drop this into my Downloads folder. They also have some verification tools that you can do, but that's a little bit advanced. So I'm just going to download and install the wallet. All right, so once you've got the Daedalus wallet downloaded, you can just head over to your uh, Downloads folder and double-click the installer and get that going. All right, and then we're finished. We can just hit Close here. And then you'll see that they put an icon for the Daedalus wallet on my desktop here. I like to put them... In, I like to pin them to my taskbar, as you can see. All right, so I'll go ahead and launch that from the taskbar. All right, and the first thing you'll do is go ahead and set your formats here. I'm just going to keep the defaults. We'll hit continue. Uh, we're going to say yes to the terms of service. Hit continue, and then you're taken to this page. Now, you can create a standalone Daedalus wallet, and you'll get a recovery phrase for that. Uh, but I'm going to show you how to do it on your Ledger device. We've already installed the private key for the Cardano wallet on our device. And we don't need a recovery phrase for the Daedalus wallet because if anything happens to our Ledger device, we'll use the Ledger 24-word recovery phrase to recover the device and then reinstall the Cardano app and we'll have access to our wallet. Right, so we're just going to choose pair here. We're just going to pair it to our device. Uh, you want to be inside the Cardano app here. So I'm going to navigate to the Cardano app and hit both buttons. And then it'll say waiting for commands. Notice now it wants me to export the public key. So I'm going to hit both buttons here. And then the next message is confirm export of public key. I'll say yes to that too. Now this is just the public key. It doesn't mean that I'm revealing any private information uh, by doing this. I'm uh, basically revealing public information to the Cardano wallet uh, for the Cardano blockchain, right? But the private key is safe and secure on my device and I haven't uh, provided it to anyone. All right, so basically now what's gonna happen is the Daedalus wallet is going to sync up to the Cardano blockchain and then uh, once that's finished, you'll see uh, your zero balance, if this is the first time that you've ever done this. All right, you can see I'm uh, very close to being fully synced. Notice that I have some existing transactions. That is because I have used this device before with the Daedalus wallet. And uh, all of the, I, so I have a previous uh, balance and transaction history. Uh, yours should be empty and a zero balance if this is the first time you've ever done this before. Now, if you have used Ada Lite or the Yori wallet before with your uh, device, you will see all of those previous transactions uh, in your Daedalus wallet, right? Uh, the, this device will only hold one Cardano key, and every time you uninstall and reinstall the Cardano app, it will recreate the wallet. All right, so now that we've got our device paired and uh, the wallet is fully synced to the Cardano blockchain, we're now ready to transfer our tokens from Coinbase into this wallet. So you'll want to go over to the Receive tab here. You'll notice that there are quite a few addresses that are available for transfer. Uh, this increases your privacy and security by using a different address each time you make a transfer. You'll also notice there's a toggle over here that you can open up that will show the addresses you've previously used. You can use the same address over and over again if you want to. But like I said, if you use a new address each time, it will increase the privacy and security of the wallet. Uh, I'm not sure what's going to happen if you run out, right? But I'll go ahead and use a new address this time. So uh, we'll just click on the address. Uh, and that is the uh, public receiving address of your Cardano wallet. I'm going to copy that into my clipboard, and then I'll just go right back over to 
Coinbase, where I'm in my Cardano portfolio, right? I'm going to do a send, right? So that's over here on the right side. I'll go ahead and send all of the Cardano. And then right here where it says two, I'm going to paste in that address of my Daedalus wallet. Once we've pasted in the address, we're ready to go. I could put an optional message here. It's not necessary. Just maybe a, a memo to myself. Uh, and then I'll hit continue here. And then there's an overview. They are going to charge me a small network fee. I believe this is standard on the Cardano blockchain. We'll hit send now. And they're going to give us a warning that uh, cryptocurrency transfers are irreversible. Well, that's, the, that's a good thing, right? That's a feature, not a bug. Let's hit send now. And then I'm going to use my uh, Google Authenticator to give it my code. And off it goes out onto the Cardano blockchain. Uh, we can also look at it here in our portfolio if we refresh our browser. You'll see that we have a pending outgoing transaction. It may take at a few minutes for it to fully uh, get sent out to confirm here on Coinbase. They have some internal things that go on, I guess. And then we can go back over to our wallet and uh, go back to the summary section and just wait for the new transaction to come in. All right, it looks like they already came in. Uh, came in really quick. Uh, they're showing up in my wallet. Uh, as confirmed. Uh, so there you go. And uh, my balance was updated. So now uh, I've got the uh, new Cardano has been added to my total. And there we go. So now I have the Cardano stored safely and securely in my Daedalus wallet. And uh, the private keys are stored separately on this device. It's one of the easiest and also one of the most secure ways to store your Cardano for long-term storage. Now, a lot of people ask me, oh, what happens if the price of Cardano goes up? What, what happens to the Cardano in my wallet? Uh, the Cardano in your wallet is Cardano, and it will also go up in value if the price of Cardano goes up in value. So if you want to sell it, you would simply transfer it back to Coinbase and sell it, right? So uh, nothing uh, freezes time when you put it in your wallet, right? The Cardano is still the same Cardano that you can uh, trade on Coinbase. So if you wanted to send it back, you would simply go back over to Coinbase. If you were at the home page for uh, Coinbase, you would click Send and Receive. And instead of sending, you would receive, right? You'd hit I Understand. Uh, this is, uh, I would skip this. And uh, we're going to be receiving Cardano. So if you want to send Cardano back to Coinbase, make sure that you choose Cardano. All right? Make sure you've chosen Cardano. It'll give you a Cardano address for Coinbase, which you can copy into your clipboard. Go back over to your Daedalus wallet. Choose Send paste in the address for your Coinbase account, and then put in an amount, say 100, right? And then you would hit send. And in the case of sending, you want to also make sure that your device is uh, connected and you're in the Cardano app. And then once you hit send, your device will have you export the public key, confirm the public key export, and then it'll ask you to start a new transaction. You'll hit both buttons. It's going to display the address you're sending to. You'll use the metal button to scroll over to the end of that address. Hit both buttons again. And then it says send 100 ADA. That's what I'm sending. Hit both buttons. And there's a transaction fee on the Cardano blockchain. You'll confirm that with both buttons. Both buttons again. and then confirm transaction. We'll hit continue here with uh, both buttons and off it goes. And then you hit send here. It's gonna take a minute or two for this and off it goes.
And there you can see in my wallet that I've sent out 100 ADA back to Coinbase. And then we'll just go back over here to Coinbase. We can go to Portfolios and choose uh, Cardano. And there you see that I am receiving Cardano and it'll take it a few minutes to confirm on Coinbase, but then it'll be back in Coinbase and I'll be able to sell it for US dollars and cash out if I want to, right? So very easy to send and receive Cardano back and forth from Coinbase to your wallet and back again, right? No big, no big issue. All right, so if you have any questions about anything I did, please throw them up in the comments and I'll do my best to get them answered.